click on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update hi guys welcome back to my channel monica here i hope you all are doing great so in today's video we are going to learn about a new feature that salesforce has given us in the winter 23 release and that is now we can launch our screen flows with lightning web components so if you want to learn about it if you want to know the benefits of it then keep on watching but before that if you have not subscribed to this channel yet or if you're first timers here then click on the subscribe button below that would be awesome that will appreciate me to create more and more videos for you now let's dive straight into the video okay so for this example i have already created one flow let's go to the flow uh, you can take any screen flow as you want here's our flow that's named flow in lwc and in this flow i have just taken a screen element in which i have added a text and an image which says hello trailblazers welcome to sftc girl now let's go to the main part with this visual studio code and let's try creating a new lightning web component and name it flow in lwc okay now in the html file we have a new tag in the lightning web component from salesforce which is lightning flow and in this you just have to add a flow api name in this property, you will add your API name for the flow. Okay, so let's check the API name of the flow. And this is flow in LWC. And let's paste it here. Close the tag and that's it. You have added your lightning flow, your lightning screen flow in your lightning web component. That's it. That's how simple it is. Now let's just save it. And now in the XML file, we have to set this is exposed to true. And we have to set our target so I want to show this in my lightning app page so I will add a lightning app page target and save it and now let's just deploy this this is deployed successfully now let's go back to our org and now to check this I will create a lightning app for that let's go to lightning app builder and let's create a new one. Um, let's select app page and name it flow in LWC. Header and left will be great. And here it is. Now, uh, in this component, in this component section, we will add a flow in LWC lightning component, which is this. Let's drag it here. And here it is, you can see our lightning web component in which we have added our flow. Uh, now let's just save it and activate it. Um, let's change the icon. Mm, let's take this one and save and finish. Okay, now let's just go to our home page and in the app launcher, let's search for our app, which is flow in LWC. Let's click on it. And here it is. Here is our app in which we have added lightning web component. In that lightning web component, we have added a screen flow. So that's how you can simply add your lightning flow in the lightning app builder with just a new tag which is lightning flow and in that you have to add a property which is flow api name in that you have to add the api name and that's it you're good to go you can easily add your uh, screen flows in your lightning web component okay guys that's it for today that was today's example i hope you found this useful and you will use it in your practice okay i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and remember keep learning